What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shanice, and I want to welcome you back to the Women's Palace site. Okay, today is going to be a very quick video, hopefully. Um, I got this word, and I don't know exactly what I'm going to name it, but it's going to be something to the nature of the system or the process of forming you or molding you into the person that the enemy wants you to be or God wants you to be. Okay, so it may not make sense right now, but just stay to the end of the video and it will all make sense. Okay, so when you are born, right, God has plans and we know the enemy is a copycat. Everything God does, he wants to do the opposite. So, of course, the enemy has a plan for you, just like God has plans for you. Right now, in order for these plans to come to pass, there is going to be a sequence of events to get you to the place where God has called you to or the enemy has called you to, right? So I want you to think of when you were born, God had a plan and the enemy had a plan, right? Some things, um, some plans may look like I want her to be a homebreaker. I want him to be a womanizer. I want her to be a side chick. I want, I want, right? Now, in order for that person to get there, he has to set up a system or a process, right? And this is why people really need to understand generational curses, because depending on what's in your bloodline, it opens up a door for the enemy to attack you. What your parents did, what your great grandparents, all that stuff affects you. So depending on what's in your bloodline, the enemy sets up certain things and he likes to kill things off in a baby form, right? Just like um, Herod did with Jesus and Pharaoh did with Moses. So when you're younger, he starts to put certain things in your path, right? Depending on what it is that he wants to mold you into, he has to begin to set up certain systems, set up certain attacks so you can become initially what hurt you or initially what he had put in his mind for you to become. So that may look like rejection, rape, molestation, um, mother issues father issues your daddy rejecting you your mother rejecting you your mother not being there i want you to understand that's all a process of him making forming you into what he wants you to become whatever that is so with that being said i want you to understand why the bible says do not repay evil with evil because you have to understand the attacks of the enemy is to get you in a position where he wants you to be because he have to mold you nobody comes out the womb saying i want to be this womanizer i want to be this home wrecker i want to be this evil malicious and vicious person no it has it's a sequence of events that take place in order to get you to get in that mindset for the enemy to form you but if we are ignorant of this if we don't understand that what's in our generational line basically opens up the door for the enemy to t attack us and if we just allow these events to basically we keep falling into the trap, so to say. So I think of it like a path, right? So the enemy got, okay, at five years old, this is going to happen. At seven years old, this is going to happen. At 10 years old, this is going to happen. And if you continue to just keep going to each part, falling into the trap, so to say, you're going to become that very person that he has assigned you to be. So this is why you cannot overcome evil with evil because you have to understand when you do that, you are basically um, in agreement you are basically walking right into what the enemy wants for you. The flesh is enmity with God. The carnal mind is at enmity with God. Of course, it would feel good to, you know what, do them how they did you. Of course, it would feel good to hold on to that anger and bitterness and that resentment. Of course, but you have to understand that the carnal mind is at enmity with God. So in order to do the right thing, it's not going to always feel good. But you have to understand if you don't do the right thing, you are subconsciously coming into agreement with the enemy's plans for your life. Instead of, you know what, I'm going to turn repent and guess what i know it may not feel good but i'm gonna go ahead and start the process of what god is trying to form and mold me into and i think about the potter's clay somebody is molding you who is your god who is your lord somebody is molding you so you have to ask yourself who is molding me am i giving in to the enemy because i want to repay evil with evil because it feels good but i don't understand that the enemy has a plan for my life and in order for that plan for my life to come to pass his will to come to pass, 
I, he has to set up systems. So this is why I got hurt. This is why certain situations took place, even though it may not feel good, right? A lot of times we can blame God, but God is like, I cannot go back on my word, number one. Number two, I can heal you. I can bind up the wounds. I am the God that healeth thee. I am the God that binds up your wounds. You have to understand that God can bless you so good, that God can really restore you, give you a whole heart. You won't even remember what took place, but rather you can take the lessons from what took place and go out out and save others so they don't have to go through with what you went through but a lot of times we are ignorant of this we're so carnal we so fleshly and what we want and what we desire that we are literally partnering with the enemy to become what he has assigned for our life instead of you know what i'm gonna repent i'm gonna repay evil with good i'm not gonna keep falling into the traps of the enemy because i understand that he is putting me in a system or a process to become the very person he has set out i'm not going to subconsciously keep coming into agreement with the enemy to morph me into the person he wanted me to be whatever that may be i'm not going to do it instead i'm going to die out to this flesh and i'm going to get into the process of the living god of what god created me to be i'm going to start on that process and even though it don't feel good because it's going to go against my flesh guess what it's going to work out for my good in the end the enemy is a system that is morphing you or molding you into a person. You're either going to become the person the enemy wanted you to be, or you're going to become the person that God wanted you to be. It is your choice. And it's all about choices, regardless of how you feel. I'm realizing you have to put your feelings to the side in this thing called life. You cannot dwell in your emotion because that's what the enemy is after. He is after your five senses. He is after how you feel. He is after what you see. He is after after all the senses okay you have to always put in your mind when things come to morph you into this evil malicious person to become what hurt you because essentially that is what it is to become what hurt you that's what the enemy wants you to do it's like a domino effect i want you to continue to go on and on and on and on i want you to become a womanizer because you got hurt i want you to be a side chick i want you to go in and break up unity be a, a covenant breaker you have to understand what it's all about it is spiritual the enemy is after molding you into his image the enemy is a copycat yet again we were created in god's image but Remember what the enemy wanted. He wanted to be exalted above God, right? He wanted his own kingdom. So guess what he does? He perverts the image. And then in your ignorance, in your hurt, in your pain, instead of going to God with that, you, you know what? I'm going a, I'm to a become numb. I'm going to get this stony heart and I'm going to go out and I'm going to do them how they did me, not realizing you are becoming the very thing that the enemy set out for you. It's a trick. It is a trick. And you have to understand, do not subconsciously come into agreement with the enemy's process for your life, the enemy's plans for your life, because you don't understand that it is a system set up in place to mold you into the person he wanted you to be. So guess what? Don't overcome evil with evil, but rather overcome it with good, even though it's not going to feel good. There will be a season that you will see your victory manifest. There will be a season that you become everything that God has called you to do. And guess what? The enemy is going to be under your foot. You're not going to be in agreement with him. You're not got to think about it. You're going to continue to get hurt. The enemy is using you just like he's using the other people to hurt you. The enemy has no loyalty. A lot of people are ignorant of this. They think, some people are blatantly out there with they serve the devil, but you have to understand he has no loyalty. His battle, his beef is with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. He ain't got, he, you're, just, you're just a pawn in the game. And literally, when you're ignorant, he takes advantage of that. So we're going to end it right here, okay? So really take heed to this and really meditate on this and understand, baby, don't be a part of that system. No matter how much it hurts, goes to God with your hurt. He can heal you. He can make it as it never happened before. Don't get caught up with coming into agreement with the enemy because it feels good in the moment. Okay, so I may do a part two because I still got some more that I can say about this, but I'm trying to keep the video short. Um, but yeah, I want you guys to go out and be a light in this dark world. And I forgot to tell you guys, make sure you're liking, commenting, sharing, and all that good stuff. I love you guys. I love you guys. Until next time.